everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kid. In today's video, I wanted to bring you a flip through of this brand new book that I've just received. It roughly translates to Wonderland Animals or Fairyland Animals. And this is by an illustrator called Chayaki Karamomo. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I, th I believe um, they're a Japanese illustrator. I purchased this book from a shop on Etsy called Stationery Corner um, and the lovely Jessica is actually based in Manchester so it was really simple to order from her and this was actually a custom order so what that means is that I asked her to um, get the book from Japan for me. Um, it came through her and then she sent it to me so in total i think it took about you know just over a week uh, it took about five days to get from japan to um to jessica so if you ever have any japanese books that you're interested in getting um and you're in the uk especially then i would definitely vouch for her shop please go over there and and support her because I've done that before and um, it's an excellent shop. Um, there's only one other shop on Etsy that sells this book and that is Chillin' Sarah who I got um, my Airy book from and again fabulous service. It's low in stock on there though so apart from that you know for the people in the UK your best bet is Stationery Corner. As far as YouTube flip throughs go I've only seen one uh, so that's why I thought I'd do one because, you know, it's a book that probably not many people know about because there, there aren't that many flip throughs and things on YouTube. So uh, I really wanted to, you know, show appreciation for it because it's it's an amazing book, as you will see. Uh, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. So this, um, in terms of size, is not your kind of average size compared to other books. So this is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I mean, this isn't really a traditional size either, but you can see it's just a little bit bigger um, height and width. And also uh, comparing it to Romantic Countries, so any of these square size books, your Joanna Rasford, Kirby Rosans, that sort of thing. Um, it's a lot um, smaller in width, but again, it's um, taller in height. So, yeah, it's... It's not too big which i like um it is quite thin and the reason for that is because there are 16 images in here which you may think isn't a lot but i absolutely love them and there's been so much effort that's been put into this book and you know they're more kind of um art prints i think because it's on really good paper and they're also perforated which we will get on to so yeah i'm going to start the flip through so I have tried to translate as much of this as I possibly can. Um, as you know, with translations, they're never absolutely perfect. So I'll just do my best for you. I've got my notes in front of me, so I will try and, you know, tell you about each bit um, as best I can. So this first bit on the inside cover has a bit of information on it. This does fold out and this is a brown tanned uh, kind of... Um, cardstock it's really really thick and it does have some sort of uh, like film or waxy resistant to it so I wouldn't recommend using pencils because I'm not sure if they'd show up the best you may be okay with markers but uh, personally I'm going to leave it because I think the illustration is absolutely gorgeous as it is we then have um, a page of white and then we get into the front cover um, page bit uh, I will just tell you actually what is uh, written here. This is kind of just the information page. So it says, paint the colour as you like and finish it as your own special piece. Even people who are not good at painting are okay. You can create a beautiful original work by freely painting with your favourite colours and painting materials while using the original picture as a model. So by painting, I think, you know, they do mean colouring, but you could absolutely use paint there. You know, it'd be absolutely fine for that because the paper is lovely. So in terms of the paperweight, the, um, it does vary as you go through the book. So the first images that I'll show you, which are all the colour images, are on a thinner paper. And then we get into the lovely cardstock type paper for the actual illustrations to colour. So if I just show you this spread, this is the spread that can be found on Chillin Sarah's shop. So it lists and well, shows these pictures. So these are all the colour illustrations that you then get in line art form for uh, you to colour. I'm not sure if they were originally made 
uh, like this and then translated to line art uh, or whether they were created specially and then the um, artist you know colored them in and painted them in but if it was the um, first where they translated these into line art they've done a fabulous job because it's amazing so I'm just going to quickly tell you what all of the different ones are I think the idea of this book is that lots of them are based around fairy tales which is um, very you know common with some of them some of them a little less so so we have Alice in Wonderland um, Longing for Bremen I think that's the imaginary town they're in I'm not really sure uh, this one here, sorry for the glare, it's partly because of the light and the fact that it's colour printing. We have the Wolf and Twin Blue Hood, these are the exact translations I think. Uh, this one's called Celebrate Spring, um, Hansel and Gretel, Ferret and Plants, Lady Cat and Mirror, uh, Lamp Designer Fox, A Squirrel Mushroom Soup, The Ugly Duckling, Christmas, Coral and Penguins, um, Hamel's Whistleblower, I'm not sure if that's absolutely right, um, Treehouse, Bremen Florist and The Mysterious Shop of the Lion. So yeah, some of those translations could be a bit off, but that's basically what they all are. They're all numbered for you. So, you know, that that's great. Right. This information bit here is telling you a bit about uh, kind of the story that goes along with the book. It is uh, long, but I will read it for you. So at the beginning, I sometimes wonder how many animals I draw. At that time, when I searched the memory of uh, my childhood, I realised that I had some strange memories. I used to watch over the sparrows with the same eyes by the window until I could fly, and I was struck by myself when I met him in a stream under the bridge. At the inn by the sea, where I go to play every year, I remember that I couldn't wait for the summer when I could go to see him, because he had a big polar bear painting, or a gatekeeper. Various creatures appeared in the story I read during the event. It seemed that there is now a pile of small memories of many other animals. A recent theme is to draw a mysterious world like a fairy tale with memories with such animals. The work drawn in such a way is included in this book as a colouring book. Not only animals, but also seasonal flowers and sweets lined up on the table. Um, the interior that decorates the room. You can change it to look like in the next section. Feel free to colour it with your favourite painting materials and colours. Your own world may appear there. We hope you enjoy a wonderful time with your work. So, sorry, yeah, I had to flip between two things then because it was um, so long. But I hope you get an idea of, you know, the inspiration behind it, you know, that, that, that sort of thing. And then we get into the full colour illustrations. And this is what I think is absolutely amazing about this book because you can fully reference these and copy them, which is what I'm going to do. Um, and, you know, they're really really good size and you can tell that the illustrator has used colour pencils for these by hand well definitely on these ones um so you know it just goes to show that they can be coloured in this way it definitely reminds me of books like the Thomas Kincaid Disney book where you have the coloured image and then the um you know as a reference and then the line art and I think that's really great that you do have it as a full size as opposed to a really small size on the opposing side. So it goes through in a random order. So as you can see, this is number nine. So they're not in the same order as they would be. Oh, hang on. I think that was um, just an example one. We get to those in a minute. So this is just a bit of an information lesson page, as it says up here, just about um, some of the colouring techniques that you can do. I haven't translated any of this bit. But, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory just from the um, from the pictures. I'm not sure what pencils are being used here. They do look like Holbein pencils or Prismacolor, but, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure. And here, this is the other information bit. So this is talking about the perforations. So the colouring page has perforations, so you can use it separately. While referring to the original picture, apply it as you like to make an original piece. On the back of the colouring page, I spelled out the story that emerged from the drawing. From there, expand your image further and enjoy colouring as an illustration of your own story. So I love, I love this artwork. It's gorgeous. So now we get into the um, full colour illustrations. And I believe these actually are in order. So yeah, sorry about that earlier so just go through um you have seen th thumbnails of them you know um on that other page so i will flick through these a bit quicker and then we get into the colored illustrations so as i said these are absolutely gorgeous so pretty um my favorite has definitely got to be the polar bear one um 
that was the page that sold it but all of them are, are gorgeous this is, this is the one i love it's so cute okay so they're all the color illustrations um and just as a side note something i forgot to add is you also get um lovely sticker freebies with stationery corner as well which is lovely um yeah so now into the illustrations as you can see they're the same size as the full color ones i believe they may have been enlarged slightly and i think the really great thing about this is that it's a dark gray uh, coloured line art so it's much easier to cover up and make it look more realistic that's the only thing that I find a bit tricky with the Thomas Kincaid books because it is a, a stark black colour which when I'm trying to white out the lines it's a little bit harder to do but for this it'll be a lot easier so with this actually I would probably just leave the lines as they are and just colour it normally but I'm going to try and make them as realistic as possible um, to the images that are given because I think the colour palettes are gorgeous. So these are all single sided and as I said there's a bit of explanation on the back of each page which I will read to give you an idea of um, all the pages. So this is on a really nice thick paper, it has quite a lot of texture to it so if you're someone that really likes um, layering this would be a really good paper. It's more of uh, like a thick sketchbook paper kind of and you know I think watercolours would be fine on this if you didn't use too much water so yeah this is the first one I'm gonna have to keep flicking here so this one is inspired by Alice in Wonderland so the mysterious inhabitants of Wonderland spend their time freely in the country where the queen has gone today I was invited by a hat shop and March Eagles to go to the tea party the decoration changes every time but this time it looks like a special princess mushroom fields of your choice also surround the venue colourfully is it some kind of anniversary? It seems that I and my eagle arrived a little too early. When Alice dreams, the tea party begins. So yeah, some of it, I think, you know, may have been changed around in terms of the sentences and stuff. But hope you, hopefully you got an idea. So yeah, we've got the gorgeous mushrooms, the eagle, the bunny. Oh, so cute. So this is the next one. This is the same picture as the front cover. And this one... Um, is the long for Bremen one. I think I'm saying that right, hopefully. I visit the city while I have a longing for Bremen. It's all about the Mim Playman. I <laughs> Again, I don't think that translation's right. The people of the city gather in the square as if their singing voice is heard. Can you hear that singing voice? So yeah, that's that one. I love this one. It's a really nice like, um, picnic scene. It's so gorgeous. There is a slight almost grayscale feel to it as well um there isn't really that much but just slight bits of lighter um line art it's gorgeous it's by no means a heavy grayscale though just to you know mention that oh this one what did we say this one was called the wolf and the twin blue hood so i go out to deliver my luggage to the twins but it's hard to travel with them probably because it feels like a little adventure how many times did you pull your hood so that you wouldn't go somewhere? Only for a short distance, it will surely be a trip with many detours this time as well. So gorgeous. This one was the Celebrate Spring one. This is one of my favourite colour palettes, actually. This one reads, When the thaw water arrives from the mountains, celebrating spring and the warm breeze blows from the south, preparations for the festival celebrating spring will begin again this year. In the city, cheerful music can be heard out of nowhere, and in the square you can see the children teaching the celebration dance. Make decorations with cloth dyed, cloth dyed with flowers and nuts, and decorate the venue with flowers grown in the greenhouse. The viola that was pressed last year is coated with a shaft and distributed to everyone in the city on the day. The smell of sprout gradually became stronger. Let's start the festival when the unicorn that announced the spring comes down from the mountain. That is stunning. I love that one. So this one we have is Hansel and Gretel. I think it's quite funny as well because you kind of have the animals being the people because you don't actually see Hansel and Gretel in this one. So I'm guessing this is meant to be Hansel and Gretel um, as the, the tiger. Um, today is an anniversary, the day Hansel and Gretel survived with a bad witch. Every year on this day, at the end of that delicious house, a bad witch in another forest. 
is the something i couldn't get that bit um so i brought a lot of moonlit stones into the forest and made a move now you can safely return to the city even on the night road rest assured even when the moon is away we have claws and fangs yeah some some of the translations didn't quite work it doesn't always do everything so as i've mentioned i read you what i've got this one is a really nice simple one so if you're jumping into the book um you know and you want something that's a little less detailed this one's a really good one this is the ferret and plant for a limited time we will open a shop for accessories and miscellaneous goods with the theme of plants since it was decided to develop a display mainly for plants the entire japanese character divert it seems that it will be a visual that brings it to the front the shooting area plants and the preparation of the model are all complete all right shooting has started i'm not really sure how that links with the page but there you go we have this one which was titled the lady cat and mirror so this one um When the mirror is revealed, a lot of favourite things and favourite animals are projected and it makes me happy. Let's go out today with this feeling. This is a really cute fox one. This small book has a speciality in writing, but Hanto, I'm guessing that's the fox, is a product of the lamp designer of the store. Recently, I heard the reputation of human blood and it seems that customers come from outside the city. The store south has recently been listed in the making of large blue candles. It is brighter than the calyx of the calligraphy and seems to be kind to the eyes. I am one of the customers who, who are looking forward to the completion of the night martial arts. And you can really imagine how these will come to life as well because of the pictures that you do get. Uh, this one is the, the squirrel's mushroom shop. The owner's squirrel sells mushrooms collected from all over the world. Not only the edible mushrooms that you often see, but also a lot of new mushrooms are good. So this one, I believe, was the ugly duckling. Um, she became an adult after an ugly duckling and she was travelling by air without a hitch. She believes she has a wonderful place somewhere. During her journey she was flying in search of the water and she found a number of eggs in a beautiful stone. The egg seems to have been left behind without being warm, warmed by anyone but it seems that the child inside is growing up quickly. I wonder if a child will be born. I can't beat my curiosity. Now I'm looking forward to seeing these children. That's a lovely kind of full scene that one. And this one is a Christmas scene. Uh, this year we used a pistachio sponge. Two types of biscuits are arranged alternately to finish the picture. The second is a chocolate dome cake. Inside the first tier is a sponge with walnuts sandwiched with the chocolate cream. The second dome contains chocolate truffles. After removing the dome on the second stage, hit it with a spoon and break it. It's very interesting. This penguin one. Oh, I love it. Uh, I had a chance to meet friends who live in the south, so I asked them about it. The news inside, it can be said that it is a flower in the sea, so I'm guessing the flower in the sea is the penguin. It's colourful, the jewels that show their own colour of voice are refined. It seems that there will be an exhibition that reproduces the seas around the world in the near future. Or the coral, I guess. I'm not really sure. My favourite one. Oh, that's so cute. Right, so this is the title that I wasn't sure about. Um, Hamel's Blow Winter has come has come again this year. This forest on the outskirts is famous as a villa. In winter, the animals sleep in the snow. The road to that point is a little easy to escape, so the caretaker polar bear will lead him every year, wringing his neck. When I hear the sound of this neck, I feel that winter has come again this year. It seems that some children have been on their backs for the past few years as they used to follow the trail behind polar bears. When you see the Shimashima Shima balloon, you're about to go to your destination. This year is also the beginning of a fun winter body. So these pictures close to each other are kind of the, the winter pictures, which I love. This one's called Treehouse. The landmark is a triangular roof that looks like a circus tent. The lily houses have been lined up here for some time and spectators fly in for them. From tradi traditional houses to castle-like houses, the shapes vary. It seems that it is not yet known who made this treehouse and what it was intended for. Uh, they also say that they don't know anything about treehouses. If you listen, the mystery will deepen. 
so that's number 14 this one is really cool uh florist in bremen these people have been talking about recently visit the city on an irregular basis it opens a lovely flower store for a few days only the flowers they grow are not only beautiful but they are also popular with men and women of all ages because they can enjoy themselves for a long time by the way the song that announces the opening of the store is also popular and the city square is crowded like when a circus came if you see it the day you visit will change depending on the growing conditions of the flowers it's really sweet and we've got lovely little flowers there as well and this is the final one the lion's mysterious shop this is mysterious throughout the year i found a single singing perfume sorry in the shop window for this year i found an aroma candle that was sold out at a speciality store mysteriously what i wanted appears here when i look out for 11 years so that one is one of the more detailed ones i think you've got all of that there and that is the end so it's it's gorgeous and um, we just have a bit of information here and then at the back we have the illustration again on the card cover so what do you think of this book i'm really interested to hear your thoughts i think it's absolutely gorgeous and i can't wait to start working in it it's definitely you know slightly intimidating in that sense because you have the full color illustration to uh, you know live up to but i'm really hoping that i can give it a good go and try and make it as good as the colored illustration that's already there I, I absolutely love it. I know there's only 16 illustrations. I know for some people, especially since it's one of the more expensive books, you know, um, some people may not get it for that reason. And the thing that I do think is lovely about this, though, the, is the fact that you could take them out if you wanted to. They're single sided. Um, you know, it's it's lovely. So, yeah, I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. So comment down below if you're going to get the book um, or if or you're interested to see a bit more about it. I'll be showing it in my videos, you know, as and when I get to it. So yeah, thank you so much all for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.